Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. So we have our mid-season balancing and this is the designer notes here for year six, season 2.2. Now normally the mid-season balancing is 0.3, but it looks like they're being very efficient and giving us the mid-season with 0.2 this time. So let's have a look at the balancing graphs first and then we'll get on to the buffs and the nerfs because there's a lot of buffs and also some interesting nerfs as well. So here is our balancing graph for attackers. Of course, this is ranked PC, platinum and above. And of course, it's obviously for season two. And of course, this is my very bad interpretation of it all. So let's start at the bottom. Of course, we've got Glass here not doing well. We've got Monty, Cali and Capital. And obviously a lot of operators, like an absolute buttload here in the very low picked area. So that isn't great, but I guess as we get more and more operators, that is going to become more of a thing. But look at this. Look at Ash down here and look at Zofia out here. This is amazing. To see Ash down here, like the little nerfs she's been getting here and there have definitely brought her down and Zofia has taken her place. Then Yana, who I have been playing a lot of, I love her with the Gun 6. Because like the Gun 6... It's definitely not the best secondary gadget or secondary weapon to take, but that with the frag grenades on Yana has just been so much fun for me. So I've been playing it a lot, and apparently a lot of people have been doing that too, and winning. And then, of course, Ace doing pretty good here too. I think he'll get a little bit of a nerf at some point, but they're not touching him at the moment. And then, to be honest, I'm actually quite happy that we have a good chunk of operators here. Obviously, Nomad, Hibana, Maverick, and IQ doing not too... Uh, really, actually, they're probably doing the best when it comes to overall balance. And then, of course, we've got Twitch, Thatcher, Ash, and Jackal here. So they're maybe a little bit overpicked, but not that bad. So, yeah, that is the attackers. We're going to move on to the defenders now. This is interesting all over the shop. So Clash doing terrible. Castle and Chanka doing terrible. I'd obviously love to see a rework or something to Castle to make him more cool, more fun, but obviously he's just kind of stuck down there. But maybe we'll see something in the future right now. Obviously nothing on the horizon for him. We've got Jaeger up here, pushing back into the above 70% pick rate, but he is losing more games. And I've been playing him a lot more because I've noticed a lot less people taking him in my rant game. So I've actually been picking Jaeger to fulfill that kind of spot, which is interesting because I don't usually bother with Jaeger. And then overall, I'd say a pretty decent kind of collection here. Obviously, Valkyrie is a little bit out. I think they might touch her in the future, but again, in this one, they're not doing anything. Frost is quite powerful here, but not getting picked a huge amount. I think, like how I play her, as I will not play her for a while in a game, and then I'll suddenly take a Frost just so they're not expecting the Frost mats. And I guess that's what people are probably doing, because she's not getting picked too much, but when they do pick her, she kicks ass. And of course, she's got that 1.5 scope on her gun too, which is handy, at least did then we got rook here who apparently is helping to win games but he's not getting picked that often and then we have a large collection of operators not getting picked much with alibi right in the middle there so let's go down to our ban rates have a quick look at them and then we'll look at the actual changes so thatcher jacko biggest bands and very much they are taking up all the space when it comes to the bands and again this is pc ranked platinum and above so yeah and then going down to here for defenders, we've got Mira, Valkyrie, and Kaid. I don't think there's anything really to take away from that at all. This the ban rates are pretty sensible. Uh, although I guess Jackal's still getting hit a bit uh, unfairly, but you know, he is a pain in the ass. So then we've got the actual changes. So let's go through this because this is interesting. A lot of scope changes and I would say probably equal buffs and nerfs here. So Alibi is getting a 2x scope on her slug firing shotgun, but also she's getting a 1.5x scope on her MX4 Storm. That is an amazing gun. I absolutely love using it. And now it's going to have a 1.5. That is a dream come true. Apparently she's a good character, they say here, that she's got like speed. She's got all, you know, everything you kind of need for a good up here, but she's just not getting picked much at all. So they're giving her better sights. So I'm loving that. Now I'm going to be playing Alibi a lot more. But Frost here is losing the 1.5 on her C1, which I am not surprised by. That is a great gun and that sight makes it even better. So it will be kind of sad to lose it, but I understand. 
And they say here that, yeah, she's got the highest wind delta of all defenders. And, uh, yeah, they're taking that 1.5 off to kind of just bring her down a little bit. So nothing, you know, major there when it actually comes to balancing. One X is still going to do you pretty good on her. And then we've got Chanka. So they're still trying to save the Chanka rework here. Because obviously he's not doing well. He's honestly not doing much better than he did when he wasn't reworked. And remember, he's had like two reworks over the course of his life. So they've added a deployable shield. They're taking away the proximity alarms. They're increasing the grenade launcher total ammunition up to 14. It was originally 10. And they've also improved the destruction for the LMG, which is interesting. They actually changed it distance-wise, which is it, very curious. And you can see here you've got an 0.3 radius hole when it's a 0 to 5 meters. But then it gets smaller the further away you get. It, yeah, like, I don't, I'm, I'm having trouble seeing that being in any kind of use at this moment. But I'm going to have to jump on the test server and just see what that's like and compare it to the, the live version. I, I can't see this changing Changa's pick rate up or win rate up. Uh, I think the main issue is just the fact that it, it you get so much risk firing off your grenades that you can't really use it greatly. You know, it's still very useful to be able to use it great, but I think that's the kind of main problem. So I don't see this making a huge difference to Chanka, but it's definitely an improvement. And then Zofia is getting the same kind of actions we've seen to other high picked up airs. So her recoil is getting made worse. I play a lot of Zofia, so I'm going to be missing uh, her very good gun because it's going to get worse. And they're going to put the horizontal spread to be stronger on the left. And longer bursts will now start the kind of bad recoil on the 8th bullet rather than the 12th. So yeah, that's gonna that's definitely gonna hit her pick rate. We've seen that this seemed to work on Ash. So curious to see if it's gonna work on Zofia as well. And uh, let me know what your kind of thoughts are on that. Now the last one here is very sad, and that is Nook, and they are ditching the rework. They have decided they're gonna put it on hold. They have, you know, they're basically saying like thanks for everyone for participating in the test server tests and trying out the feed and you know giving us feedback but they are not going to go ahead with it because I think they just think it's not quite what Nuke needs. So unfortunately, she's staying exactly the same as she currently is. It's a real pity. I would have loved to have seen some of this stuff maybe make it to live because there was some really good stuff in that rework. It wasn't all perfect, but it was definitely going in a good direction. And unfortunately, that is just not going to happen. Uh, of course, there were some nerfs in there too, so some Nuke players might actually be very happy that this isn't coming. I'll be curious to see what you think, and of course, if you do want to go read all of this, there will be a link in the description below, or of course, you can just pause it and read it from there. But yeah, unfortunately, the Nuke rework is just not happening. That is really, you know, sucky. Then we have this. So we have some weapon balancing. These are the slug shotguns. So the uh, one for Maestro and Alibi is getting increased to 69 damage. Nice. From 59. And the other slug firing shotgun, so this is the one on Goyu and Kaid, is getting an R buff as well, going up to 63. And it was previously 57. So yeah, that is a nice little buff for the slug firing shotguns yet again. They are pretty good, but like in this game, Full auto SMGs that you can get on defense are usually better choices. So it's definitely good to have an increase in damage here, but I don't know if it'll actually make people pick them a huge amount more than good SMG or LMG options with Maestro. But yeah, let me know what this kind of changes when it comes to your thoughts on the mid season balancing for year six, season 2.2. And of course, this should be up in the test server, I expect, probably like this week or next. And then we'll be to sit down and try some of this stuff out, see if it's good. And then it probably will make it to live relatively quickly. So let me know what you think of it in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.